tis the season to be jolly. So let's make a Santa hat. They are super easy to make and I designed a pattern for you. So that way all you need to do is download it, print it and start cutting and sewing Santa hats for everyone. So let's do it. The first thing you need to do is download the pattern and print it out and cut it out. So now that you have that, we can cut out our fabric. But how do you size the Santa hat pattern? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how. So grab your tape measure and I want you to wrap it around your head and see what your measurement is. So mine here is 22. So you wanna make sure that your pattern is at least an inch bigger so that way it fits nice and your fluffy fur is also gonna add some bulk to it. So I want my pattern to be 23 inches finished in circumference. So measure the pattern minus your seam allowance and if you need to, adjust your pattern. And if not, let's get going. Okay, so if you need this hat pattern bigger, what you need to do is add to the length this way and then blend it up to the top. And if you need it smaller, you're gonna draw in and then blend up to the top. Now this pattern is cut too, so when you measure this line down here, make sure you times it times two, so that way you can get a full circumference. And don't forget to take into account your seam allowance, which is 3 8 of an inch on each side. You'll also need to adjust your fur band accordingly. So if you added an inch to the hat width, you're also gonna need to add an inch to the band width. Now that you have your pattern adjusted to fit your head, let's cut it out of fabric. For fabrics, you're going to need a half yard of red stretch velvet, and you're going to need a quarter yard of white fur. And this is a great project to use up your scrap fabrics. I'm gonna make a super traditional one first, and then at the end, I'm gonna make one out of some scrap fabrics that's gonna be super fun. So make sure you stay tuned to the end to check it out. So the next step is to cut out the fabric. So let's lay out our fabric and our pattern. First, I'm gonna cut out the top of the Santa hat out of the red velvet. And this pattern piece is going to be cut too, so I have two layers on top of each other. There we go. Next, I'm going to cut the fur. And this pattern is cut on fold. So make sure you have your fabric folded and you have the pattern placed directly on the fold. And don't cut open the fold because you need it to turn into one long rectangle. So I have my fabric folded right sides together. My fold is right here for the fabric and my pattern on fold is right on top of it. And now we can cut it out. And now when we open it up, we're going to have one long rectangle of fur. You're also going to need a pom-pom for the top of the Santa hat. Now you can buy a pre-made pom-pom or you can make one. So there's not a pom-pom pattern with the pattern, but what you can do is just go ahead, take a scrap of the fur, and you're gonna end up sewing a circle and stuffing it to make a pom-pom, which I'm going to go over at the end. So if you wanna make a pom-pom at home, you totally can. So now it's time to start sewing. So you should have all your pieces cut out and it should look something like this. The first thing we're gonna do is sew the sides of the Santa hat. So we are gonna place right sides together and you can go ahead and clip or pin this. And then we're gonna end up sewing up both sides here. Now you can use a serger to do this. You can use your regular sewing machine using a straight stitch or an overcast stitch. It's really up to you. So we're gonna sew up both of these sides here and then we're gonna take the fur and we're gonna place that right sides together and we're gonna sew up the side over here. And for this pattern, your seam allowance is 3 8 of an inch everywhere. So I have right sides together and we're gonna serge up the sides of this Santa hat. Now we're done with the sides of the Santa hat, and now let's go ahead and sew up the sides of the fur here. So right sides together, we're just gonna sew up the short side. Excellent, and now we are all done serging the sides. Now let's take a look at what we just serged together. So you should have the side of your fur sewn together and then both sides of the Santa hat. Now we're gonna take the hat and we're gonna flip it right side out. So now that our hat is right side out, what we're going to do is take our fur and we're gonna fold it in half so both of those raw edges line up. And now what we're gonna do is take this and we are gonna place it inside of the hat. And we're gonna do it this way so that way when we fold it up, there's gonna be a nice finished edge there and the seam will be behind the band of the hat. So now you can serge this step or you can overcast it. 
And I'm gonna surge it up real quick because I love the serger, but if you don't have a serger, you can overcast it. So I have all my layers lined up and I'm gonna run it through the serger. When you get to where you started, overlap your stitches by about a half inch and then surge off. Now that we've got our brim on, we only have one last step. We need to make a pom-pom for the top of it and then we can try it on and see how cute it is. And if you already bought a pre-made pom-pom, all you need to do is sew that on and you're done. So easy, right? So what I'm gonna do is sew a circle, but I'm gonna leave a little opening so I can flip it right side out and stuff it. And then I'm going to attach it to the hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up my pom-pom real quick. So now that I have my cute little furry pom-pom made, what I'm gonna do is take the tip of the hat and stick it in the little opening that I left. And then all I need to do is stitch it down with matching thread. So let's start at one end. Make sure you back stitch. Carefully go over all the layers. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. We did it, we finished our Santa hat and I love it. I love this long fur on here, but obviously you can buy a shorter fur. You don't have to use stretch velvet. You could use a wool, you could use a plain velvet, you could use felt, you could use a red fur. There are so many different types of fabric you can make this Santa hat out of and I am loving my wild combination here. So let's try it on. We did it, we finished the Santa hat. And check out how cute this little pom-pom is at the top. I love the way it just hangs in the back. I like it so much that I'm gonna make another one out of completely different fabrics. I've got a beautiful brocade and I've got a super luxe high-end fake fur trim. So let's sew it up. And here's the non-traditional Santa hat and super high-end luxury fur and a beautiful brocade. So you can make a Santa hat out of any fabric imaginable. You can make them to match all your holiday outfits. And that was so easy and quick to make as you just saw. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anastasia today. I hope you had fun making a Santa hat. So fun and easy. Don't forget you can get the pattern at sewanastasia.com. And if you enjoyed this video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you think of the video, and I'd love to know what kind of fabrics you would make a Santa hat out of. Would you go traditional or would you go non-traditional? Leave it in the comments below. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget, we now offer sewing classes in the design studio or virtually, so you can check those out at sewinganastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching, bye.